Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're going to do some fertilizing with a brand new pendulum type fertilizer spreader here. There is the other spreader that we have. Um, there is rain coming today. Again, we had a bad thunderstorm and hail last night. There's a tiny bit of sun popping in and out here this morning. So uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna get all of our fertilizing done so we can get <laughs> back in the building here. And then what we'll do, uh, so stay tuned to the end of the video, we're gonna go over this spreader, the differences between this and the other one and uh, why I bought this one, things like that. All right, so let's talk about spreaders. This is the new, uh, look at that, made in Italy, awesome. Shenandoah SQTF 600 is the model. I don't really know what the 600 stands for, but it's supposed to be 600 pounds. Um, based on the little bit that I've used it so far, I think, uh, you know, if it had just a little heap in the center, boy, you could get almost a thousand pounds in that thing. Um, I think there is there's some options for this. I think you can get extensions There is some kind of a great screen system you can put in and uh, a few other ones that you can get with this But uh, this is definitely a step up from the spinner spreader I actually did want the next size up which I think is called an 800 but because of everything all the equipment shortages going on the company that had these available, they're basically a distributor. They had one left in a warehouse. I think it was in Wisconsin. It was this one. And I had to wait for it to come in. And then when it came in, they sent the wrong PTO shaft. So it was about three weeks at least that I waited for this to come in. But I was lucky. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I was happy to have gotten the last one of these in all the model series that they had at that time. Maybe they have more in now, I don't know, but I have been told the price has gone up over $400 on them. So I'm very happy to, you know, again, to have grabbed that one. So this is the spinner spreader that I bought. I actually bought this last year. For years and years, I've used spinner spreaders, you know, put up with the, I guess the downfalls of those types of spreaders. So last year I decided, okay, my other one was getting kind of rusty, even though I do clean it. Uh, I had five years into it spreading fertilizer and stuff and uh, so I decided that you know what I'll go ahead and upgrade it I wanted something heavier duty I wanted something bigger so I bought this one and um, let me see is there a model number on this okay this is the SP 500 SS the SS is stainless steel I don't know if you can see down in there but Almost all the components uh, that touch the fertilizer are stainless steel. The little auger thingy there isn't, but uh, the rest of the stuff down there is. And that was a huge thing for me because one of the things that started happening on my other spreader was the plates that are in there that pivot on each other. Sorry, I'm starting to hear some raindrops. I got done just in time. <laughs> doing my spreading anyway so the plates that are in there that spin to like open and close the holes were getting so bound up and rusted you couldn't hardly open it and close it anymore so I wanted to make sure I got one that had stainless steel and also this little auger guy here if you can see that the other one just had like a little tiny thing that went around this actually has I'll call it like a foot that spins around down there so that's a much better design than the other one because Sometimes, uh, if you saw in the fertilizer spreading video, you know, I'm breaking up the chunks of fertilizer uh, going in. The other one, if you got a little chunk, it would plug up one of the holes. So this one uh, was different. So it was a lot better built, just way heavier duty, just a, a much, much better, bigger spreader than the one that I had previous. So I used this uh, a little bit last year and then this year uh, in that one video you saw there with little blue and um, this is the spreader that flung the stuff all over at me um, as i said you know here here's a guard right here an l-shaped guard these are stainless steel paddles here too um, there's a guard here but it just does not stop the fertilizer from flinging back at you i tried making some adjustments on it and things but just couldn't get it so then 
I took this, this is just a piece of plastic that we had laying around from the goat barn. Uh, we used in some of the pens to make it easy to clean. So I cut this thing down and basically blocked the area, you know, you can see, so that uh, to try and help, because a lot of the stuff was coming up. I mean, I'm sitting way up, you know, way up here on the tractor and the stuff is hitting me. So I took an hour and cut and put the stupid guard on and it helped, but it did not stop the stuff. There were still some pieces coming at me on the tractor. So I said, you know what? This is very well built and whatnot, but I'm not messing around with this thing anymore. Uh, I'm gonna take my little guard off so it looks factory again. I've, you know, I've only used it a handful of times. Obviously there's no rust, so this is going up for sale. Um, I'm not gonna keep it. I don't see any reason to keep it. But there's just a lot of downfalls with these types of spreaders and uh, I don't knock them whatsoever. Like I said, I've gone for years using these you know, you can spread uh, pelletized lime, different fertilizers, you can do grass seed. They're just economical. It really is a good choice uh, for somebody, you know, getting started or smaller ground, things like that. Again, not knocking them whatsoever, but I just kind of got tired of it. This spreader flung stuff at the tractor worse than the other one, I think because everything was bigger on it. Uh, you know, the paddles, the spinner plate down the bottom, everything was bigger. Um, you know, because the spreader is bigger. So I think that's one of the reasons why it was flinging more at the tractor than this other one I had, which was, a, you know, again, a smaller size. So great product. Uh, again, not, not knocking them, but it was time to upgrade to this guy. So that was a lot of reasons why I wanted this. And uh, it still did fling a little bit of stuff at the tractor, but it was probably 15% of the stuff. Uh, that the spinner spreaders throw. I mean, you know, way, way better. This is also easier to load. Uh, if you saw in the, uh, the video there, um, you know, what I normally do is I will take and lower the three-point hitch as low as I can before the PTO hits the drawbar so that I can put the bags in. And this one being a much taller design, even lowering it, I still... Uh, was over a foot taller heaving the bags up there than when this was dropped down. So the design of this was definitely better and The settings are better the fact that this handle the way the geometry works out I can Turn the thing on and off from the cab or seat of the tractor These guys this one actually has a fairly long handle on it. My other one Had just a short stubby thing about this long this one's a little bit longer, but obviously, you know, maybe if you had a real small 30 horse tractor or something, you'd be able to reach that. But these bigger tractors, even on my uh, little blue there, the 45, I, if I got out of the seat and stretched over, I could reach that handle. But uh, again, that having a nice big handle on it. So there's just a lot of great things. These are supposed to have a much more even spread pattern. That's one thing I noticed with the spinners is it always seemed to throw a little bit more one direction than the other. So, um, you know, these are supposed to be better at disbursement. We'll see, I don't know. This is the first time I've used one. So uh, why I decided to go with this company, uh, my uh, local, I guess tractor dealership, they're not a Case IH dealer. They do sell some tractors there, a lot of attachments, stuff like that. They do some repairs for me um, on some of the stuff. In fact, that's where Little Blue is now. But uh, so I wanted to buy something local. I reached out to them. Now Kubota has a spreader just like this. Um, I, I don't know if it was, I think it was actually the Vicon uh, version, you know, and then Kubota you know, painted it Kubota. So they have uh, versions of these spreaders. They may be a little bit more heavy duty. And I, I do know that you can get bigger ones. Of course, you can get bigger ones here. But um, those, some of those, if you went really to the high end, I think they actually have an electronic screen in the cab for controlling some of the flow and different things. So, but if you went with a more basic version like this, it was still twice the money of what I paid for this one. So again, I don't know what the quality differences are. I haven't seen a Kubota, you know, Vicon, whatever, up close to know if, you know, it's built that much heavier or you're paying for the name. I'm not sure. And you guys know I love Kubota. 
So again, not knocking them, but I don't do, you know, a thousand acres a year or whatever. So this is going to last me, I would hope, quite a while. But it's just a, a nice major upgrade. You have some options that you can add to it. So um, anyway, I know the lighting's bad in here. There's no power in this building, so we don't have lights. But anyway, I hope that explains a little bit uh, kind of on the different spreaders there, why I chose to change to that spreader versus the other ones. Uh, either one's a great choice. If you have any questions, uh, again, I haven't used that one much. I've used spinner spreaders for years. If you have any questions about the spreaders, you know, leave in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, if you have used either one, either style spreader, uh, leave me your experience in the comments down below. What do you think? I know, um, I believe Mac Farms has a Vicon version of this. Uh, Humble Haymakers down in Virginia. I believe he just bought the Kubota version, you know, Vicon version of this. And he's used it a few times. I don't think he has a lot of time in on it. So those are some channels you could check out if you wanted to see a little bit more about these spreaders. But uh, anybody else that's happened to use one of these, uh, feel free to leave me suggestions, do's, don'ts, goods, bads about the different spreaders down in the comment section. I appreciate it. If you don't know what else to say, just say hello. Uh, I love reading the comments. I appreciate everybody watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe, the thumbs up, the bell icon on your way out the door. And uh, yeah, I'm done rambling. So hey, I hope to see you guys on the next video.